Hello there, fellow space captains. This is Connor, and welcome back to Dreadnought, where we're going to be having a look at a brand new tier 2 hero ship, the Zillant, which is the ship you can see just jump into action there now. This thing. Enemy contacts on Raven. All hands to action stations. Not a Okay, now that they are done talking, let's make our way into battle. So yes, it's uh, an Akula Vector design, tier 2, so it's going to cost you 1,000 grey box points, which isn't too bad, but again, tier 2. So it depends on whether or not you're going to be farming credits with it or not on a tier 2. I don't really think you're going to get a great deal out of it. But it could surprise me. This is my first game with it. Just want to see how it operates, how it plays. So let's see how it performs then, right? Uh, enemy artillery cruiser spotted. Okay. Number of enemy dreadnoughts spotted. Now it does come equipped with a nuclear missile, tier 2. So it is effective at range. But it also comes equipped with armor amplifier, which is a bit odd. From experience, that is usually coupled with the broadsides. In some shape or form. Just going to launch off the nuclear missile here. Okay, there we go. But it also gets vultures, which are really good missiles, actually. Close to mid-range missiles. And there goes the nuke. And quite a bit of damage done. Alright, we're going to go for him. Albino. That secondary armament is the repeater guns. But I don't dislike the main armament here. Switch it over. Okay, the repeaters are fully loaded there. But the heavy plasma guns, I don't mind them at all. In fact, I actually do like them quite a bit. Just the feel of them is nice. And there's a Corvette around here somewhere. Looks like one of our tacticals or one of our artillery cruisers took him out though, which is nice. So let's get moving into combat here. And I have power into weapons by mistake. Damn it. Okay, we've got an assist there. Now let's focus on this command ship. Get lots of points. Okay, there are missiles being launched from an enemy vessel. Let's put up our anti-missile lasers. Support our ally, whoever was the focus of that attack. And look, we got ourselves a little tactical down here. Really wish they would have fixed the cameras for firing below you. Below your ship. Okay, I want to launch our vultures with that tactical. Armor up, fire up, because we're actually taking quite a bit of damage here. Focus on him, please. Push into plasma until they reload. Target down. Right, on a couple of seconds until we have our meat back. So we're good there. Reload the repeaters. Hold on, why won't they reload? Oh, there we go, they were already reloaded. Some sort of glitch. UI glitch. Power the shields. Let's get that nuke out. And because it is tier 2, you're going to be fighting with this thing. Ah, damn it, I prematurely detonated the nuclear weapon, which isn't good. Ah! There's that... God damn, what is it in Augusta? What tier is it to? Armor up, fire up, vultures out. Okay, missiles are out. Okay, power to the weapons. This guy is completely ignoring me. Come on, take down those shields. Right, he's got armor up, the fire up. Not anymore, he doesn't though. Come on, keep hitting him. Oh, there's that guy back again. Focus on this damn destroyer. Please. Armor up, the fire up, just in time. Oh, that was a close one. Got him. 
Now that guy's just being a bullet sponge. We're gonna have to take out whatever's healing him up. So put power into the engines. Let's go. Oh, hold on. There you are. I see you. Power to the weapons again. Get the repeaters going. Target down. So he should fall pretty quickly now. Come on. Target down. Good stuff. Okay, we've got a couple of artillery cruisers. Being a little bit of a pain. Reload the repeaters quickly. Launching the nuke. Although it's kind of pointless now. He was taken out pretty damn quickly. Let's keep an eye on where it is. Launching the vultures. Where is my nuke? Why has it not come down yet? Oh, please don't tell me this nuke's bugged. Please tell me that nuke's not bugged, or did I just not see it? Because if they've released another hero ship that you had to pay for with real cash, through the grey box points, and yet the nuke is still broken, that is not cool. In fact, that's a bit douchey. Focus on the tactical. Come on, folks, keep going. We're doing well here. Anti-missile point defense up. Protect our allies as much as we can. Teamwork is a two-way street. Reload the plasma gun before I start hitting him with the repeaters. No, I'm not. I'm not having that. Where are you, you little shit? You. Well, hello, Donner. Come on. Couple of missiles hit him. Time to take him out. There we go. Good stuff. I'll take down that healing boy as well. Now, where are the enemy now? We're in this direction, okay. Reload the repeaters. Let's get stuck in. Now, the one noticeable trait on this ship visually is the giant figurehead at the front. Oh, hello. Or not figurehead, well, it's kind of a figurehead. There's another name for it as well. But I think technically anything that's sort of cosmetic is just a figurehead. Come on. Got him. There we go. We're almost... We're wiping the enemy team out. You got... Come on, come on, come on. Please don't bug out this time for the love of space Jesus. Oh, we got something. Oh, we got him. Oh, -ho. power to the engines. No, 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 no. Why does it keep? Where is he? Where is he? Wow, well, wasted my vultures, but still, I wanted him dead. Well, that wasn't bad. Is that my first death? Eleven kills, one death. That's not too bad. Four assists. Get back in. Don't need many more points until we're the victors. Come on, jump in. Here we go. I'll have to show you the front of the ship at the end. Can't really get a good view in game. Okay, enemy destroyer closing in. Not today, destroyer. Not today. I call that a win. And that is a win. Okay, how did we do? How did we do? Oh, second. I keep forgetting that he changed my officer color to red over the navy blue. So, what way is the scoreboard? 11 kills. He got five. Hmm. 
Xavix here in the tier 2 artillery cruiser must have did a hell of a lot of damage to enemy ships to get the top of the board there with only 5 kills. He probably did a lot of damage um, which allowed us to get kills. So that's not too bad. There we go. And let's go back and see this ship in the hangar. I mean, it does look good. I think it's called the Forecastle as well, by the way. The front of the ship, where are we? Recruit. There she is there. Look at that. And I actually really like the little emblem as well. I think it's in Russian. The Zealand is, it's either a wyvern or a dragon. It depends on the depictions of it. Some, it has, you know, the dragon limbs, the wings. Then it has two front legs and two back legs. Whereas a wyvern, it has two legs at the back and then just its wings, which is counts as four limbs. But a dragon has six. But look at it, if I can get a decent view on it. Where is it? Uh, four castle. There. Looks more like the Rancor or something, or even the, uh, what do you call that big beastie out of Gears of War? The massive siege beast that you can control in the third game, or the second one, I can't remember. Doesn't look as much of a as much of a dragon though. In fact, it kind of looks like some sort of sea creature, Leviathan or uh, shark, maybe Megalodon. But it's nice. It looks really cool. I like how it has these little fin things here as well. It looks like it's some sort of Power Ranger variant. But it looks really cool nonetheless. And the bridge as well. I think the bridge looks pretty cool. It's not that uh, it's not that you know crazy detail wise. It's pretty simple, but I like the look of it quite a bit. It's very nice, and you can get that for 1,000 gold, if you fancy it. And seeing how that was my first game in it, it's not a bad ship. It can hold its own, can deal out a decent bit of damage, and you can get quite a few kills in it, if you're paying attention. But I suppose that's the same with any ship. But yes, I'm just going to leave it there. have other Dreadnought videos to record. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick view of this ship, and what it looks like, how it performs, which isn't really that bad. I actually like this ship quite a bit, although I'm not really a fan of the Akula Vector Dreadnoughts. I do like this one. So you can check it out if you want to. If not, then you're not really missing a lot, to be honest. It's just a tier 2 Dreadnought. Um, although I think the tier 4 hero ships, if they're still selling them, can be a bit expensive. I think they're going to be grinding you out a decent bit of cash or credits whenever they're balanced. Whenever they do fix the whole monetization part of the game, the currency aspect, because at the moment it's a bit stupid, especially leveling or grinding from tier 4 to tier 5, which is something I want to mention here, I mentioned it a couple of days ago in a Fractured Space video, but seeing how a lot of you guys who watch the Dreadnought videos do not watch my Fractured Space videos, I just want to point that out here. So somebody left a comment, okay, not a big deal, before they left the channel, it was nice that they left um, an actual comment saying why they were leaving rather than just leaving without saying anything but it was pretty much why do I complain about Dreadnought on the grind and continue playing it and the simple answer is I enjoy Dreadnought the grind from tier 1 to 4 isn't that bad gets you to grips with the game allows you to learn each of the ships going through the tier uh, but the jump from tier 4 to tier 5 is nothing more than a waste of time and I don't like wasting my time there are better things to do, more important things to do, than grind out XP for a ship that is way too expensive. I mean, for example, the Harwich. I haven't yet unlocked this ship, but it's going to be 65,000 research points to unlock. Okay, I'm not really interested in credits at the moment, it's all about the research points. 65,000. Okay. Let's jump to the Kataro. Now this is the same across the board for all tier 5s. They all cost the same. 225,000. That's almost 4 times the amount you need. That is the biggest leap, research point wise, in the game. From tier 1 to 2, tier 2 to 3, and tier 3 to 4. The jump from tier 4 to 5 is massive and there's only one reason for that. To influence and... Yeah, more or less try to influence you to get Gravax points to become elite. Just to make it a more reasonable grind. And even with that, it's still not that reasonable. So I, I think it's a little bit scummy if that is their intention to try and get you to get Gravax points. 
But other than that, they need to lower it quite a bit because it's way too high. In a game like Dreadnought, which isn't a bad game, it's actually quite a fun game. Uh, but when you look at it, each ship in a class is cookie cutter to the one previous, unless it's from a different faction. So, for example, you have the Augusta, which is exactly the same as the Trafalgar, only with a few different possible modules. It looks aesthetically different a little bit. But throughout the five ships in the line here, they're all basically the same shell. Or not the same shell, they're all the same hull with a different shell. They look exactly the same with a few different visual changes, customization options. And whereas in Fractal Space, each of the ships, for better or worse, are unique in their playstyle and how they work. And this here, playing the Augusta, playing the Trafalgar, playing the Otranto, playing the Vigo. With those four played, you're going to know exactly how to play the Athos. And I don't think it's right that the grind from tier 4 to 5 is such a leap. I don't mind spending time grinding through something if I feel like it's fair. But in the case from 4 to 5, it's it's ridiculous, honestly. More, almost four times the amount of XP needed. Yeah, right. Okay, that sounds fair. But anyway, I'll leave you with this. Have fun, whatever it is you're playing, whether it be in space or otherwise. And uh, of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.